This is how to install vinyl stencils. Step 1. Measure. The first step is to measure the space where the logo needs to be installed. Find the center of the measured area and lay the vinyl stencil flat in that area. Use the circles provided on the exterior part of the stencil to find the center of the stencil before removing the adhesive backing. If there are multiple panels, use the provided exterior stars to line up the overlapping areas. Step 2. Remove the adhesive backing and apply to surface. Carefully remove the adhesive backing from the stencil. The easiest way to do this is to first peel the backing just enough to stick the vinyl to the desired surface. Using masking tape, tape the adhered vinyl to ensure that it stays in place while the rest of the stencil is applied. Larger stencils will be provided a cardboard core. Unroll the stencil from the core, then backroll it onto the core starting at the opposite end of where it has been taped. Slowly pull the backing off as you unroll the stencil, applying the vinyl to the cord. Use a squeegee to firmly press down the vinyl stencil onto the surface. Step 3. Apply pressure. Once the backing is removed and the stencil is applied, Use squeegees to carefully apply pressure in even strokes, paying special attention to the edges and any intricate parts of the logo design. This will ensure that the stencil is applied securely. Step 4. Remove pre-masking tape. Carefully tear away the top layer of pre-masking tape, exposing the stencil's design. Do not pull directly up on the pre-masking tape. Instead, pull it backward, parallel to the surface. It is best to remove this covering in small portions. When pulling off the pre-masking tape, make sure to tear it parallel to the vinyl edges underneath so the vinyl is not stretched or compromised. If you are having difficulty, water can be applied to the pre-masking tape to lessen the adhesion. Step 5. Apply Primer. Apply a thin, even layer of primer to the exposed areas within the stencil. Make sure to cover the entire area. This will help prevent the paint from bleeding beyond the lines of the logo. Allow the primer to dry completely. Step 6. Apply paint. Once the primer is completely dry, apply the first coat of paint. When using a roller, be mindful of the amount of pressure exerted when painting. Too much pressure can compromise the edges of the stencil, causing the paint lines to bleed. Allow the paint to dry completely. Drying time will vary depending on temperature and humidity. After the first coat dries, if needed, apply a second coat of paint. Again, allow the paint to dry completely. Step 7. Remove the stencil. Once the second coat of paint is dry, remove the vinyl. It is easiest to start at one end of the vinyl panel and work toward the opposite end. Sometimes the vinyl will come off in one piece, but more often than not, it is easier to tear it away in smaller pieces. If the design is intricate or complex, be sure to use a tool with a small point to carefully remove any small pieces of vinyl that may be left over. Compare the painted logo to the design rendering to ensure that no small vinyl pieces are left behind. Step 8. Clean up and touch up. After the stencil is removed, make any necessary touch ups. Repeat these 8 steps for multiple colors and or layers. Visit our website at stencilmasters.net.